All right, so guys, here is the uh, unboxing of the uh, Gig Bar Move by Chave DJ. Uh, gonna be DJing a party right here in uh, downtown San Diego, and uh, this is gonna be the first time that we get to take this thing out. One of the cool things is, is that we already have a Gig Bar 2, which is situated back there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be uh, linking the two of them and checking it out today. And uh, just to let you know, my uh, pre, uh, I guess, opinion of it is I, I played around with it at the house and uh, was able to take it out. It comes in this beautiful case. That's why I love the Gig Bar, is that the case that it comes in is so simple. It is definitely a lot heavier uh, than the Gig Bar 2, uh, but the biggest difference is that it has uh, these two movers, and uh, what I found out is that the movers uh, are only 10 watts, so they're not as bright as I thought that they would be uh, when I was messing around with them at the house. Uh, really, my first impression was I didn't really like them too much it didn't really make too much of a difference between the gig bar move and obviously the gig bar 2 that i have already as you can see they're very very similar the biggest difference is that the derbies are on top of uh the bar as opposed to on the bottom and then obviously they added these two here uh, so i'm going to show you what comes in the package but at the same time we'll see it live in action a little bit later on uh this evening so so here is the tripod stand that it comes with. Cool thing is it's all inclusive. Tripod stand comes packed in, obviously this plastic. You got this carry bag, uh, which is not the, the best quality, but uh, you know, the Gig Bar 2 has a very, very similar bag and it's done well for us as long as you kind of take care of it. So let's take that out. This is a kind of a cool feature that the Gig Bar Move has, has this right here to be able to obviously tighten uh, the bar on top of the tripod and it comes with this little thing. Uh, just makes it simple uh, to take off, but also you can clip it right back on so you don't lose it, which is pretty cool. All right, so here is sticking the Gig Bar Move onto uh, the tripod here. And obviously a little bit wobbly, got to lift up the uh, bar there, but it is definitely is a lot heavier uh, than the Gig Bar 2. And we're going to uh, see what happens. So let me go ahead and uh, lock that in here. So we're going to take this and we're going to go around to the back. If you take a look at this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in there and go ahead and just give it a twist to lock uh, the bar up top in place. Just move that around here. Right, there you go. And presto. So now it's locked in place. We can take this and we're gonna lift it up in a moment. All right, so if we go back into the box, you'll see that this is nothing in it, empty box, but they have this box over here which I opened last night. You can see it says foot switch on it. One of the things I love about the Gig Bar uh, 2 was the foot switch. And obviously with the uh, Gig Bar Move, they have a foot switch and it did come with a battery. Um, and the battery goes right here in the back and uh, I actually put it in yesterday. Um, and it's really simple. They got rid of the uh, antenna, which <laughs> drove me crazy having to uh, open up that antenna but all you got to do is turn it on the transmitter uh, light the power light goes on which is great so that's pretty cool one of the things I don't like about the gig bars is that with the light being so high up on the tripod if you take a look at this is the power cord that they give and it's really really short but why not you know put a lengthier uh, power cord uh, that can go from the top all the way down to the bottom and plug in where you need to plug in. I wish they came with that, but luckily we have a couple of these uh, that will be able to uh, connect with each other. So, All right, so this is the uh, 25 footer that I have as far as the uh, power cord. And as you can see on the uh, Gig Bar 2, uh, we lined it up on the back and just plugged in the power on the back, plugged in uh, the XLR. Uh, cord and we're going to daisy chain that and connect it to the gig bar move So let me go ahead and uh, set that up and I'll show you afterwards All right, so here we have it set up one of the cool things that I like about the uh, gig bar move is it does have a digital uh, display and uh, I'm not gonna really mess with it too much, but it's on an auto setting right now as you can see we plugged it in the Moving heads are already starting to move which is pretty cool. We're gonna check the settings obviously and things like that in a moment. And uh, so let me uh, finish setting up. Uh, so I did have to bring uh, the uh, bar down so I can uh, play with this right here. And so all I did was I went into the menu, went into slave, clicked enter, and then now they're uh, connected with each other. Let me show you what it looks like. 
So currently right now they are in slave mode uh, and they are, I think, I guess that's what you call it. And they're connected with each other, which I like, uh, but I also don't like the fact that the uh, movers aren't uh, being used right this very moment. So we're gonna find out, see what it looks like when we set that up. Anyway, so uh, that's gonna be the video for right now. I'm gonna uh, play around with it just a little bit, uh, but my initial uh, reaction as of right now is, is that it's very, very similar, obviously, to uh, the gig bar, big gig bar move. I really wanted to see a bigger difference, uh, but who knows? Uh, I'll let you guys know whether or not we keep it or we end up returning it uh, for something better. So take care.